Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be talking about uh, the new one of the new functions that have been introduced by Google Sheets, uh, the by row function. In order to understand by row function, uh, you will have to understand how lambda function works because that's like a sub function used in this one. And uh, for that, I will be linking a video to understand how it works, but quickly to go through uh, those small functions that will be part of this. Uh, I will be talking about uh, the lambda function first in a very quick summary. Uh, how lambda function works is uh, this is going to be the actual calculation that is happening. And when it comes to by row function, it allows you to calculate the values for every row. The utility of this by row function is uh, when you're basically using array formulas. Not all formulas are compatible with array formulas. For example, some ifs and count ifs formulas are, uh, you cannot do all of those uh, calculations by array formula. But now, since Google Sheets has introduced by row function, you would be able to do that for every row. And this is basically a longer mapping uh, array formula, but uh, a different name, which is compatible with all other types of formulas as well. So in order to understand how this formula works, uh, we need to understand how the structure is. So by row um, function calculates the lambda function for an entire set of arrays, uh, if you see here. So how you can write the formula for that is write by row, and you mention what the actual array is for the calculation followed by the actual formula you would like to do. So when it comes to explain understanding the lambda function, lambda function is just writing lambda and let's not call it function here, let's call it a value. So it's lambda, the value name and the actual calculation of those values. Independently using lambda function is to mention the actual values you would like to calculate. This will not be used when you use by row because you will be mentioning the actual array that you want to calculate it with. So in this case, how we'll go about it is we will do by row array of values and do lambda, the name of the value, whatever you'd like to do, and actual calculation of those values. Let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, let's say we have we own a shop and we are doing online deliveries and we have a price for packaging and we have a price for delivery cost as well. Now in my previous video, I used this example to explain how Lambda works. And uh, what we are going to do today is not do this Lambda function everywhere, but uh, just do it once for the whole row, just like how we do it for array formulas. So let's just get rid of these values and get right to it one second okay there we go so all we need to do in simply simple terms right now for you is we will be using the by row function so if i was to do like just lambda i would write lambda and then just give a name random name to this value called x and then just say what i want to do with x i want to just use this and add the packaging price for this value. And I would just say what is the actual value or the value of X and it will calculate this value to add 50 cents to this packaging. But what if I have to do it for the entire row? How I'll change this is I will use by row and mention the exact array that I want to calculate. So let me go for D4 to D19 followed by the lambda function that we just used. So if you want, you can just call the product price as PP and then add PP plus the packaging. And there you go, in one go. And that's exactly how it works for other values. You could just say, I don't want to do it for adding packaging, you could do it by twice the packaging and you could change the formula into uh, two, two multiplied by pp there you go so similarly if i have to do it one go one more time by row function with the whole array that i want to calculate 
followed by the lambda function that I have just created with a value called pp. Okay, <laughs> let's call it something else. Let's call it uh, the price, right? So let's use sentence case. So I want to call it price and just add price plus packaging plus delivery cost and you will have the values right here that's exactly how we are going to do it and uh, i think that's about and that's very simple formulas that are very powerful indeed for um, google sheets that they have launched so i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please like and share and uh, come back for more